often called the purple planet. Kepler 11a is the fourth of six planets around the planetary system Kepler 11 discovered by NASA's spacecraft named Kepler. These planets were discovered in the orbit of the star Kepler 11, which has been discovered to be similar to our very own Sun. Kepler 11's planetary system became the first discovered extrasolar system with more than three transiting planets as well as the most compact and flattest system yet discovered, according to NASA. The six planets orbiting Kepler 11 are all larger than Earth, with the largest ones comparable in size to Uranus and Neptune. As far as exoplanets go, these are relatively small worlds. Kepler 11 is located about 2000 light years from Earth. Astronomers used observations made by the Kepler spacecraft to detect the six planets that transit or pass in front of the star. The planets are relatively small, ranging from roughly 2 to 4.5 times Earth's radius, but they are also surprisingly lightweight. This indicates that they are made mostly of gases. Based on their densities, four of the planets appear to have thick atmospheres of hydrogen and helium. The two planets closest to the star have higher densities, suggesting that these bodies have atmospheres of mostly water with just a thin skin of hydrogen and helium. Five of the new planets are closer to their parent star than Mercury is to the Sun. The sixth world lies farther out within a region that would fit within the orbit of Venus. Experts have said that it is the most closely packed planetary system that we know of yet. The innermost planet Kepler 11b is 10 times closer to its star than the Earth is to the Sun. Moving outward, the other planets are Kepler 11c, Kepler 11d, Kepler 11e, Kepler 11f and the outermost planet Kepler 11g which is half as far from its star as the Earth is from the Sun. Kepler 11e among these exoplanets within Kepler 11 is known to have a distinguishable purple tint at the bottom. Kepler 11e was announced on February 2, 2011 with its five sister planets after it was confirmed by several laboratories. This beautiful exoplanet was discovered using the transit method in which the dimming effect that a planet causes as it crosses in front of its star is measured. This transit causes a slight and regular change in the host star's brightness, which can then be tested to prove the planet's existence and later to extrapolate the orbital parameters of the planet. Kepler 11e is most likely a gas giant, similar to Neptune. It also has a density that is half of that of pure water at standard temperature and pressure and less than that of Saturn, the least dense planet within the solar system. The low density of Kepler 11e can probably be attributed to a large hydrogen and helium atmosphere. Kepler 11e's orbital inclination is 88.8 .8 degrees, making it almost entirely edge-on to its star as seen from Earth. Because it isn't as close to its star as its sister planets Kepler 11b and Kepler 11c, the Kepler team suggests that its light density may come from a large hydrogen and helium atmosphere that has not been blown away by the stellar wind. In fact, formation models indicate that the planet has a gaseous envelope, somewhat less massive than 20% of its total mass. Kepler 11e has a mass that is 8 times of Earth's mass and a radius 4.5 times that of Earth. The planet orbits its star every 31 days in an eclipse that would fit within the orbit of Mercury. More data on the Kepler 11 planets is still being extrapolated. It would be fascinating to know more about these exoplanets and contemplate the grandiosity of our universe. If you stay till the end of this video, thank you so much. Let us know what you felt about this video 